so much for joining and today we will discuss about effects of consumer preference and its impact on economy very very interesting topic and it is quite ignored uh, while uh, teachers teach uh, in lessons because uh, they say that they are same you just use interchangeable it is not like that right because if uh, they are existing there is some reason there is some purposes for which the economists made these terms so let me tell you here we are going to understand about uh, five effects demonstration effect band hogan effect snob effect bevelin effect and gibson effect and they are quite similar but they are also a lot 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 different why you have to understand this because if you launch product if, if you launch any business in future you have to do market study right you have to do market analysis to do to do market analysis you have to understand how consumers behave how is the consumer psychology how they get influenced by different aspects so you have to understand this effects very clearly okay so let me come to the point so demonstration effect demonstration effect this term was coined by james jesenberry bandwagon effect this term was not coined by anyone but it has been colloquially used in uh, presidential campaign of zachary taylor d snob effect this is uh, not coined by any significant person uh, there is no historical evidence for that and veblen effect has been coined by thorsten veblen and giffen effect uh, as the name suggests by uh, sir robert giffen so uh, one by one we we'll discuss and also we we'll be uh, at the end we we'll be also comparing them so let me come to the point for demonstration effect so let me have the highlighter here yeah so demonstration effect what do you mean by demonstration effect demonstration as the name suggests demonstration effect demonstration means to show to show demonstration effect means to show that means i am demonstrating this lesson to you i am demonstrating this notes to you i am showing this notes to you and also i am providing some impact you are conceiving this information you are understanding you are trying to realize what i am saying so that is called demonstration and demonstration has a lot of impact in your mind in your uh, in your psychology so how demonstration effect is important how it is impacting and what does it mean actually it means to buy things by seeing other persons to have it to buy things by seeing other persons to have it okay let me give an example for example cosmetics of your neighbor for example you are using uh, a brands a brands uh, cosmetics you are using you are quite happy with it but just by seeing other person in your neighborhood who is using uh, any x brands uh, cosmetics you are seeing that the person is getting much more glowy okay his skin is getting much more smoother so you think that you should also try so just by seeing other persons to use that or just by seeing other person getting the benefit of that product you are also buying so you do not have any instant need for that product or you did not even know about that thing but just by seeing others using it you are purchasing it same goes for foods and drinks you are going uh, you are going uh to some location and suddenly you saw that uh, in a roadside market uh, there is one person who is selling uh, pav bhaji now you do not have any hunger for that right okay if you would have hunger also you would have purchased any other thing but just by seeing that person and the crowd eating pav bhaji and praising him you think that i should also buy that i should also eat that what what if i just traced uh, just one pav bhaji there is no problem right so you just feel instant uh, need instant need of uh, uh, purchase you think that if i don't eat it i would miss something i would miss an opportunity so just for satisfaction of your mind you are going and you are purchasing and the reason is you have seen other persons to praise it other persons to buy it other persons to uh, purchase and satisfy their needs so you can say that is a kind of uh a feel okay a feeling which other persons provokes other person provokes to you okay it is a mind provo mind provoking mind uh, influencing thing okay next game console for example you do not have any need of playing games you can just play game in your phone but just by seeing your friend having a ps3 you are also buying a ps3 okay so that is bandwagon effect now how it impacts the economy it is quite detrimental detrimental why why is it dangerous because because if just by seeing others 
your rational gets dumped just by seeing other you go to purchase something that means you are your rationality gets dumped right the economy would just go in one direction one direction it will not have multi multivariant direction right the economy must be eclectic in nature it must be competitive in nature if demonstration effect works everywhere it would be very detrimental for the society clear now if we uh, if we cumulate demonstration effect of multiple uh, multiple areas okay for example you are having see the demonstration effect of you and demonstration effect of your friend would not be same okay demonstration effect of me and demonstration effect of you will not be same but if if we talk about the whole mass whole mass is demonstration effect that is called bandwagon effect can you understand the difference demonstration effect is for individual for i for you for me demonstration effect might be for this bottle for you the demonstration effect might be for this pen but for bandwagon effect it would be for a single product the whole mass would crave for it and that is called bandwagon effect and it is also dangerous i would discuss it later so basically this is mass consumption of similar goods when everyone everyone starts to buy everyone craves a single product or single service okay that is called what bandwagon effect okay now talking about the function so it is a function of consumption of other it is a function of consumption of other why because just by seeing others you are buying it you are getting into the same same line same queue to purchase that for example this is very interesting tiktok tiktok and insta challenges for example a new trend comes a new trend comes for a dancing in a tone okay so everyone is jumping everyone is jumping in that app to make videos make videos so that this is a kind of trend so when trend is set that is called bandwagon effect everyone does the same thing then political movement yes bandwagon effect also is applicable to political movements everybody is have same belief everybody has same thought and you can also get an idea if you uh, study the mandela effect i will discuss about it uh, later because it is not directly related to it but it is also very important uh, application of it so i just uh, say in simple terms mandela effect means something that everyone starts to believe but actually in fact that is wrong that is fake so that is also a kind of bandwagon effect then speculative investment if you talk about investment terms for example cryptocurrency everyone is so hyped that everyone is purchasing cryptocurrency everyone is buying nfts so that is also kind of bandwagon effect now impact on economy it is bad as it is a short term bubble as everyone is interested in some acumen of that product or service as a hype is created as a hype is created nobody cares about the limitations nobody cares about what is the shortcoming of that product what is the shortcoming of that service so a kind of short term bubble forms if you know if you have uh, researched then you must have known about the it bubble of 2000 how it burst so bubble burst hap uh, happens if this bandwagon effect runs for longer duration okay at first that product or service or that it it might not be product or service it might be any trend or it might be an investment or it might be any uh any process also but whenever you are into uh, those things just for hype without judging it properly okay that is very detrimental that is very derogatory for the overall economy clear next coming to snob effect you understand the correlation of demonstration effect and bandwagon effect demonstration is for individual bandwagon is for mass clear now coming to snob effect everyone is says everyone says snob effect is similar snob effect is similar but snob effect is reverse of demonstration effect how i am saying it in band, uh, in bandwagon effect or i would say for bandwagon effect the reverse of bandwagon effect or reverse of demonstration how 
Snob effect means snob effect actually means what? Snob effect actually means to not do something. To not do something in uh, demonstration effect and bandwagon effect, you are doing something because of others are doing. But here, as others are doing, you will not do something. You will not do that thing. It means for being for being different from others. For being different from others, you are abjuring that good, abjuring that uh, you are rejecting that service to get different from others because everyone is doing. Everyone is so hyped about that thing. You want to be different. You want to have a different standout in the society, in the economy. That is why you are going against what others are doing. For example, for example, pursuing a new course, an out of the box course, instead of doing engineering. Everyone is doing engineering, but you are doing something different from others. You are going to media or any other courses, which is not so much, uh, which is so much uh, taken by people. Okay. So you are going to something very new. Okay. So that is the thing. Then uninstalling from social media. That is a kind of behavior. For example, everyone is into Facebook. Everyone is into Instagram. Everyone is into a WhatsApp, but to feel different, just to get different from others, you are uninstalling, you are deleting all social media apps because it might be for your own purpose. It might be for your uh, health, mental health, or else it is just because you want to focus on your studies. You want to focus on your physical life, right? Whether it is good or not, yeah, it is good for bringing a change. It is good for bringing a change, right? For example, this startup, for example, everyone is going for service, 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 service. But after 2015, 16, the new trend, the new uh, dynamicity in the economy has come to develop new startup, to develop new innovations. I'm talking about India, but this change has already come in uh, in 90s uh, in foreign lands like America, or I would say especially uh, for um, Silicon Valley. Then coming to Veblen effect. How does Veblen effect different from this rest three? Okay, Veblen effect is something which is function of, which is function of price. I have not talked about snob effect because I wanted to compare it with Veblen effect. So Veblen effect is function of price and snob effect is function of consumption of others like this bandwagon effect and demonstration effect too. Okay. This is positive. That means bandwagon effect is positive to consumption of others. Whereas snob effect is negative to consumption of others. Whereas Veblen effect is prone to or is influenced by the price. That means if, if the price is high, then the demand of product, demand of that product would also be high. So this is applicable for what? Status goods, conspicuous goods or ostentative goods, goods of ostentation. Clear? For example, Apple products. You do not have any other utility. You can also, uh, you may talk about quality. If I just put the quality aside, you can do everything that is needed for a normal use. For example, you can do phone, you can do uh, like click photos, you can click videos, you can save uh, different multimedia things, videos, and you can play games. Everything can be done in a micro max phone and also in an Apple phone. Okay. But why you are purchasing Apple? Because, because it has a brand value. It has a status, right? If I buy that, everyone will say, ah, this person has a, this, this person has an Apple phone. So to build that status, to build that, uh, you know, standard. Okay. I am purchasing Apple products. So this is called Webland effect without having noticed any extra utility, just because, just because the price is high. You are thinking that product must be 
of high status the same goes for gucci products for example talking about me i have never tried gucci products but i have this you know mentality that if i am able to buy gucci that means i am having enough i have having enough standard because i am having that much uh, purchasing parity purchasing power parity clear so gucci products high range okay most of the people who have not used do not know about any extra utility or not but they have high standard set up inside their mind just because the price is high there are many products like that okay for example uh, bmw car for example uh, uh, for example audi okay for example ferrari so they do not care the people do not care about what extra utility they will get just because the price is high they think availing that product availing that service would make them what high status okay the same goes for if you are going in a economy class you feel that this is low status but if you are going in uh, for example the first class okay then you are thinking that yeah i am high status person so this is a kind of mentality this is i am not saying that this is perceived this mentality is possible to everyone okay but this is the general belief of weblen effect clear now coming to giffen effect this is very interesting although although these four the fast four uh, effects are mainly confusing for people everyone says that like most of the people say those who have not studied properly they say that they are same use it interchangeably but now you understand what are the differences between them now coming to giffen effect what do you mean by giffen effect giffen effect is understandable if you understand the income effect how income effect acts income effect for normal goods normal goods means any goods like any normal goods okay any normal goods income effect when the income of the person will rise the purchasing power parity will also rise that means you have much more affordability you you can buy that product okay that and that is why the demand for that product also increases if your income is increasing demand for the product is also increasing because you are more likely to afford it right but in case of given goods opposite of what i have said happens that means if income is rising that means consumption of given goods will be decreasing clear if income is less consumption of given good would be rising so opposite clear it has opposite income effect or negative in income effect now how to understand it by example in ireland when there was great famine this given effect happens which is observable okay there were two commodities potato and meat people used to consume both of them when the great famine occurred that means a recession took place okay people did not have income income had fallen then it was observed that the demand for potato is increasing how is it possible if income is less then the consumption of that product would be also less but it is seen that the potato is also increasing the demand for potato is increasing so the reason is when they used to have potato and meat together okay when they used to have potato and meat together and when they had in, uh, proper income to buy it they have, they had in, enough income to buy it they were eating more and more of meat because meat is delicious for them meat is much more favorable to their taste so they were meat, eat, eating meat more and more meat was costly potato was cheaper so meat they used to avail more and more but when income got reduced they stopped the consumption of meat they reduced the consumption of meat and they started eating potato so this giffen effect cannot be uh, you know cannot be just uh, seen independently for example if one pot, pot, product was there like potato you could not have seen the giffen effect as there is presence of both normal goods and inferior goods the uh, giffen effect is observable clear so this is one uh, case and if we talk about india the same goes for bajra and wheat wheat is costlier bajra is cheaper so when income would be reducing in uh, economically weaker section they start to eat 
bajra when income is increasing they start to eat wheat and consequently the consumption of bajra gets reduced clear i hope you understood the whole of it and if you do not understand if you uh, missed out any you just can reverse the that cursor and you can rewatch it so conclusively i'd like to give a bird eye view of what we have studied and what are the differences between all these five theek okay. hai demonstration effect demonstration effect means to buy things by seeing other persons to have it so it is applicable for individual person individual person for bandwagon effect if the same demonstration effect entangles or covers up the whole mass the whole mass seek for the same product or service that is bandwagon effect snob effect is opposite of demonstration effect and bandwagon effect it means to not to do something to not to do something because other other people or the mass is following that mass is demanding that bevelin effect is a function of price okay it is not derived out of utility or satisfaction just because the price is high you are perceiving you are thinking you are musing that that product is of high standard and i should have it if i have that much affordability to have and given effect is what it is it is it is taking place in the situation when we consume two products one product is normal another product is inferior so when income is rising i am consuming more and more of that superior good or the normal good and i am i am rejecting i am abjuring the the inferior goods and if the income is falling then i am consuming more and more of inferior goods and abjuring more and more of what normal goods or superior goods clear i think you got the point you can go and get the note from uh, the description link and agar acha laga if you liked then obviously like and you can share this video if any people have doubt they can solve it and just by watching the video clear this is very important uh, because uh, these are very practical okay aur kabhi bhi agar koi bhi koi bhi cheez koi bhi cheez agar teacher bole ki rat lo to aap uh, just you just don't get away with it okay you should ask why why i will do ratification there must be some reason why this has come into earth okay you have to understand it you have to understand what is the application of it otherwise what is the uh, reason of education so i'll be coming up with more more topics uh, of my fields basically and also some uh, other fields like mathematics and statistics and uh, you know different uh, more areas like uh, humanities which are uh, like under my scope and more and more cultural and educational content so if you like be with us we have already crossed the boundary the benchmark of 500 subscriptions and we are uh, we are you know hoping for more and more so that we can create logical community okay which will help each other so aaj aaj ke liye itna hi chaliye tata good bye aur sikhte rahiye ha bye